time now is 6.04. We're heading into the weekend where some churches here in North Alabama have decided to open their doors again using social distancing guidelines while others have chosen to remain closed and still offer virtual church services. After weeks of living through the ongoing pandemic, what's our area's spiritual state right now? Joining us right now, you can see him, Pastor Mitchell Walker. He is the president of the Greater Huntsville Interdenominational Ministerial Fellowship. Dr. Walker, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Today? We're doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. You communicate yes, with please. numerous, you bet, you communicate with numerous local pastors. What are they telling you about opening up their places of worship during this pandemic? Well, the conversation is ongoing and different pastors and their congregations are making decisions after their assessment of what their, their congregational needs are and uh, making sure that they're prepared to keep everybody as uh, safe as possible and well. Uh, so everybody's kind of doing something differently. There's no kind of one size fit all for opening uh, the congregations back up. But everyone has, uh, you know, some of the similar uh, challenges and concerns. It has to be difficult, Dr. Walker, for church members to remain physically away from the buildings and each other, especially during a time where we need to be able to lean on one another mm -hmm. in our faith. Uh, describe exactly kind of what they're going through and what churches are doing to help bring comfort to people, whether the church building is closed or, or open. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very challenging time because we are so accustomed to being together all the time. Uh, during the course of a week, not just on Sunday morning, but also for other occasions uh, in our congregation during the weekday. And uh, it's, it's quite difficult. You know, one, one of the things that all of us as pastors are concerned about is making sure that uh, social distancing doesn't mean social isolation and that people uh, feel themselves uh, kind of isolated from everyone and, and uh, their mental health, therefore, is, uh, is impacted. You know, it's easier for uh, a lot of us, maybe the younger generation, who is not as at risk for the virus, uh, to separate and social distance, and, and they've got the, social, the technology to do so. But what about the elderly? You know, these folks, they rely on going to service Wednesdays, Sundays, every week, and now they're in that vulnerable stage. How do you help them move forward? Well, we are certainly have been challenged uh, to take advantage of all of the uh, uh, electronic means that we can. Uh, we're you know, doing virtual worship on Sunday morning. Uh, we're doing virtual Bible study on Wednesday evening and other times during the week. Uh, and our meetings are in, in virtual capacity, but it's, it's really challenging for all of us to be away from each other, to not see each other uh, often for the, you know, it's been maybe two and a half months since I've actually seen some of the uh, members of our congregation, uh, and they have not seen each other, but we try to keep everyone as connected as possible through electronic media. Dr. Walker, you come on our program this morning at a very important time. Our country not only needs some healing from this pandemic, but when you look at what's happening right now in Minneapolis, with the demonstrations, the fires being set out there, demonstrations spreading nationwide in the wake of the death of George Floyd and other recent cases involving black men, how can we all come together and find some spiritual healing in all of this? I think it all begins with the conversations uh, across the racial and ethnic lines, across our denominational and community lines geographically, that we really need to probably sit down and, and, and have conversations with each other about these things before something like this that happened in Georgia, in uh, Louisville, in, uh, in Minneapolis. Uh, before these uh, situations happen, to kind of bond ourselves together more closely to get to know each other. And then as we go through these times to, uh, uh, to sit down and talk with each other and get to know each other, know the challenges that, that various parts of the community has that, uh, you know, that we may not be uh, aware of because of where we live, where we work, where we move and have our being. Pastor Mitchell Walker, thank you so much. We really appreciate you joining us. We'll have you back on, sir. Thanks again for being here this morning. Okay, thank you very much. We, well, we appreciate you. you. It is 6.09 right much. now on your Friday morning.